My name is Kent Little. I'm a CFI here at Thrust Flight, and today we're talking about things I wish I knew as a new CFI. One of the things that I underestimated when I came in as a, a new CFI was exactly how much time and preparation it takes with a student on the ground beforehand, but before you ever get in the airplane to go over maneuvers. A lot of times I would, uh, at least early on, I would, I would give students a, a brief rundown of, okay, we're gonna do this maneuver and this is about how you do it. And then we'd go get in the plane and fly. But now once I've had a little bit more experience with students and, and seeing that not work as well as other situations, I take time with my students to, to break down the maneuver, let them know exactly what's going on so that they can be better prepared for what they're going to, to feel in the airplane and how to react with the airplane whenever they're making their control inputs. It's with maneuvers or any sort of other environmental change that you're, you're putting them through, whether it's taking them to a, a new airport that they've never been to, towered versus non-towered. I try and really break down what that new experience is gonna be, what they can expect, so that they're not completely caught off guard, and I'm trying to catch them up in the airplane. The airplane is a terrible classroom, so if we can break that information down on the ground, in the classroom, before we ever hop in the plane, it makes that transition a lot smoother for the student. One of the things that I wish I knew as a day one CFI was to let students make mistakes. I find that the best way that students learn is actually making mistakes, and don't let them bust air spaces or get you into a spin or anything dangerous like that. One of the big mistakes that I made during my flight training was entering a hold backwards, and that was on a stage three check during my instrument training, and it was so embarrassing that I've never made that mistake again. My instructor was just evaluating me and probably thinking to himself, what are you doing, man? ATC even asked me, like, hey, confirm you're doing the hold. So it was a very embarrassing moment of my flight training and uh, you bet I'd never made that mistake again. So he allowed me to make that mistake and it allowed me to become a better pilot in doing so. I think one of the biggest things when um, becoming a new CFI that a lot of people don't go over and not a lot of, of the instructors tell you about is IACRA. And if any of the other flight instructors are watching, you'll know what I mean when I say IACRA. I didn't know the full load behind it and what you actually needed to do when processing IACRA applications and student pilot certificates and signing people off to take check rides. It's, it's a whole ordeal with um, making sure that every single piece of information is correct and then reviewing it and then having to send it back to the student to then fix the information and it's just a whole big ordeal with, with trying to find the right balance between information and being detailed and not detailed. So I think IACRA would have been something I wish I would have told or was told it was going to be, you know, grabbing a bull by the horns. It's me taking the bull by the horns. It's a metaphor. But that actually happened though. The first advice I'm going to give you guys is don't be afraid to say that I don't know. You're a brand new CFI and your student most likely is going to know that based off of your teaching style. So one thing that you really need to do and understand is that if you don't know something, know where to look it up. Don't try to mislead the student with false information because that student is more than likely hearing that information for the very first time. This is called primacy. With primacy, it's very hard to break out of that habit of what they heard the first time. So now they take that into a check ride and utter it to a DPE and it is now incorrect. So now we have formed a bad habit. So really don't be afraid to tell your student that I don't know that, but I can look it up for you and get that information. All right, guys, that is all for today. And that is new advice for new CFIs out there. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.